guys, Roy Plays The Sims here, and welcome to the 19th part of the I'm a Lover Challenge. I'm so excited that you're here. So a few things I want to take care of before we get started. Anna Shell Sims, Lori Smith, Sims Lover 163, Written Fate, Master Salita, and Jigsaw Girl. Thank you guys so much for your comments on the last video and for commenting overall. You guys are freaking amazing. I really appreciate it. Um, I also... Uh, it is Anna Shell Sims and Master Salita said, okay, so I have a problem in my game where Penelope has been coming, I'm pointing at her like you can see me pointing, I'm a dork, but Penelope has been coming home all week without her homework and I'm like, what the heck? So you guys said, go to the bookshelf and buy her some freaking homework. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to buy her some homework. Sorry, little miss. You are not getting away without not doing your homework. Awesome, we've got some homework now. So today is Abby's birthday, and I'm so excited she's gonna be a teenager. Here's little Abby with her dad. They are up super early this morning. Um, it's because I've got some plans for her. Uh, let's see, we bought the homework, and Abby and Mason are going to head out for a special daddy and daughter birthday date. Um, it is her birthday. I wanna triple check, triple check and make sure it is Abby's birthday. I always click on the wrong freaking button. Zero, yes, it is Abby's birthday today. So they're gonna go out and go for a daddy-daughter birthday date. It was completely okay with Charlotte and Penelope because these two ladies like to sleep in. They're over there sleeping in. I'm not really into what uh, Penelope, oh, oh, they're best friends now. Oh, that is so cute, Oh. Abby Mason, you guys are best friends. So, um, like I said, Charlotte and Penelope didn't even care that these two were gonna go out for a special day together because what they're gonna do, the other two aren't really into. <laughs> and these two are really into it. So we are going to ask out on a date. That's weird. Um, oh, I'm <laughs> I clicked on the wrong person. I was like, why would Abby ask someone out on a date? But that's not what I was going to do. Okay, so we want to travel. We want to travel with little Abby, and we are going to go somewhere special. I'm so excited. As soon as you guys stop talking. <laughs> Actually, I don't even think I have to click on travel because it's like in their backyard. So let's go here. I asked my friend Penguin Ma, I'm like, is there a such and such place in Windenburg? He goes, give me five minutes, I will find it for you. And he did. So thank you for Penguin Ma for showing me what this, where this place was. You guys are like, where the heck are we going at five o'clock in the morning dressed in gear like this? Well, <laughs> these two are going fishing. Fishing is something that Mason absolutely loves. And since Abby and Mason are so close, of course, Abby is going to love it too. And it gives them time to just be together without any distractions and just talk. And I don't know why I had them travel over here if where they want to go is over here, right? Hmm. All right, now where did it go? It should be, there it is. Yay, go fishing together. I'm so excited. I feel bad. Oh, no, they're running all the way over here. Mason, be careful. I know that, you know, you're an older gentleman now and <laughs> you get tired really easily. I'm just trying to zoom in on them fishing together. Awesome, they're fishing. Oh, he caught something really gross. <laughs> so Mason was like, you know what, sweetie, it's your birthday. I want to spend some time with you. Let's go fishing early in the morning before all the birthday chaos happens. And she's like, I would love that. And Abby knows that her father's time is near and he's going to pass away soon. So she just wants to spend moments like this with him. And um, Mason loves to be with his family, but he feels just a little bit closer with Abby because he sees uh, her mischievous side. And that's what Mason had when he was younger. So he understands Abby's wild heart, which is actually kind of neat because I was making Abby into like a mischievous teen and kind of getting into trouble and pulling pranks and stuff. And then I talked to Mason's creator, Sims Lover 163, and I was like, you know what? What was Mason like as a child? And he was like, he was mischievous and pulled pranks. I'm like, oh my gosh, that is what Abby does. So it's kind of neat that we have the same kind of thing going for our Sims. So these two are just here fishing away. I freaking love how adorable they are in their fishing gear. Um, 
I wonder what Mason, I know he goes fishing a lot, but I wonder what his fishing skill is at. This one's skill? Yeah. Oh, he's level 10. So he's really good. <laughs> I know um, the few times that he gets stressed, he'll, he will whim for fishing. I'm like, sure, go fishing. I don't mind. What's Abby? Uh, they don't have a fishing kind of thing, huh? So I guess this is mental. Is she building her mental right now? I guess she is. Huh. Wow, look at how busy she is. She has a charisma, she's creativity, mental mischief is like super high, motor skill, social is at 10. It's because she used to like talking to her skelly bear. She still does. Mason's retirement pay has arrived. Awesome. And you know what? I wonder if these two are awake yet. My phone is going off. Okay, so... <laughs> my phone is still going off it's like burp in the background and it's super windy here today because we have a huge storm so i'm really sorry if you guys are hearing the wind in the background so and abby was asked if she wanted to go to the cabin for her birthday as you guys remember they took penelope when she aged up into a teen but now that um Mason is aging. She just wants to stick around Windenburg and have a birthday party with her family and her friends at home. So that is what we're going to do. Abby caught a, I cannot even pronounce that. Good for you, kid. They're doing really well just hanging out catching fish, huh? Wow, Mason, you guys are rocking this. Look how sweet. Oh, with like the little ducks in the background. And that's their house over there. Look at these two. Oh, I love how sweet this is. This is like, oh, my thingy froze. Oh, I wish we could take like screenshots and have them turn into like photographs they can frame on their wall. I wish we could do that. That'd be a good idea, EA. <laughs> so I'm going to send these two home. You guys have had a great little fishing trip. He's like, oh, I love being outdoors. All right, you guys can go home. Oh, I love how happy she is. She just thought of a school bus. I was like, oh, crap, does she have school today? She does not. But she wants to chat with her dad. What does Mason want to do? He wants to do bro stuff. <laughs> of course, look how cute. I never noticed they ran on the rocks like that. But I never knew this was over here, like behind their house. <laughs> Did you guys see that book on the table? Gotta live Windenburg. There's books on everywhere. There's books on the floor. There's books on tables everywhere you go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little birthday party for our, I was going to say our sweet little Abby, but no, she's mischievous. Penelope is more of the sweet one. Abby is more of like the ha ha ha. What trouble can I get into? And she's going to invite some special people over for her birthday party. I hate how they stand outside when you come home. Oh, <laughs> you know what, little miss, you need, you know, I'm just going to let you do what you want to do. You do you, sweetie. And I'm going to have Penelope make your birthday cake today. So mm, what kind of, I think she would want a hamburger cake. I think Abby would want something totally just random out of nowhere. What are you guys? Okay, you're just standing out here. You want to play on the computer? You know what? Come and chat with your dad. That is something that you wanted to do. Come and brighten his day. And Charlotte, come over here. Come hang out with your family in your pajamas in your front yard. <laughs> Let's tell her a knock-knock joke. Joke about chicken butt. And you know what? If I remember right, there's interactions she's supposed to be doing with her husband. Um, offer a rose. What else can we do? Let's flirt with him. Kiss his hands. Um, embrace him. Oh, I love how they're all giggling together as a family. Express fondness. How many does she need to do? She needs to perform 50 romantic gestures with a spouse as soulmates. Oh, soulmate. They're soulmates. Oh, and look at this. Abby totally gets to see how in love her parents are. I freaking love it. Profess undying love. Um, don't woohoo because your kids are home. <laughs> Caress a cheek and embrace. And you know what? You need to, we're getting closer. How's that cake coming, little girl? It turned out awesome. So let's go ahead and have her, she's super hungry. 
So why don't you get like a real meal? If I do you have food in your pocket? She does. Is it still good? Oh, it's spoiled. Okay. So no, don't eat it. <laughs> Clean it out and I want you to eat have some scrambled eggs. How are you doing, little miss? Is she doing hungry too? Is she doing hungry? Is she hungry too? She seems to be okay. So I think we should have this birthday party. Actually, we need you to <laughs> put some birthday candles on that really fast. Like, really thank you. Then go back to eating your food. Eat scrambled eggs. Because I worry that um, 23 hours, yeah, it's perfectly fine. I don't want anyone to like take a piece of it. Are you gonna eat that? Let's see here, open. Have some scrambled eggs. Nope, don't place it in the world. Can you eat it? Nope, hmm. Ah, grab a serving of that. Let's put this away. Ah, oh, they're like, hey, she's like, happy birthday, little one. Ah, you know, she should probably sell these fish. Oh, you know what? Which fish? There's that one, I can't pronounce, a minnow in a perch. Can we put this one in a, no we can't. Shoot, I wanna put it in a bowl. Can you guys, can we do that? I don't even know, what is it? Gold fish, is it like a bowl? Oh, I don't even know what it's called. And I can't even type. Okay, bowl maybe? Hmm, crystal fish bowl? Where's just, ah, oh, I don't know if this will work though. Can we put a fish that we want in it? Wow, that thing is freaking huge. <laughs> Look how big it is. I don't know if we can put our own fish in it though. Is that gonna, did that work? Is he in there? He looks a little squished. Oh, <gasps> it worked. Okay, now someone tell me, do these things name it? Oh, what should we name the fish, you guys? Tell me in the comments below. Oh, that is so cool. And if I remember right, the fish don't die in this one, right? Like you don't have to feed them or anything. Like in The Sims 3, the fish always died in my game. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, you guys, okay, just stop for a second. Woohoo with Mason, sure, we can pin that for you. Why don't we have you change your clothes into everyday four? That sounds good, sure, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to change your outfit into everyday four, sure. <laughs> Do your dishes. And why don't we have a little bit of a birthday party? Uh, when you're done doing that, let's change your outfit into everyday two. <laughs> that sounds good. And let's have you <laughs> plan a social event. I know, she's like, I wanna chat with my birthday girl. I know, look at little Abby over here in her freaking jeans and her monster t-shirt. She's so adorable, freaking love it. Okay, so we are going to have a wedding. No, we wanna have a birthday party for our baby girl. Birthday Sim is this one. <laughs> I'm so excited. Do you guys get excited to have birthdays for your babies? Okay, so. We want these people as guests. I need to, oh my gosh, you guys. Our childhood friends are seniors. What the heck? And, oh, the little thingy froze. Um, whoa, look at all these seniors. <gasps> Our brother-in-law is a senior. Wow. Oh, I'm just freaking out. We want to invite Hugo. Hugo's ageless. Oh my god, Paolo is a senior. I feel like I'm forgetting people here. You know what I mean? Am I, did I ask everyone? Hmm. Okay, we'll just do that. And I know Abby's going to invite her own friends. Caterer, we're not going to have a caterer. A mixologist, no. Entertainer, no. Let's just have a basic family birthday party at our house. Oh my gosh, I always fail at this. Oh, <gasps> I found it. I always fail at that part. Okay, so we've got the cake. Let's pause it for a sec because we want little Abby to invite to hang out at current lot. Look at how many people she does not get along with. <laughs> I freaking love it. We want to invite Morgan. Ooh, it kind of glitched out. Colin Cooper, she doesn't know Trish very well, but Colin Cooper, they, these three are like 
uh, they they come as a pack. They all hang out together, kind of like uh, when you buy like I don't know Reese's. You know how they come in a pack. So these three come in a pack. I don't know why I just said that. I think I'm super hungry. Um, is this who we want to invite? Oh shoot, I erased it. Okay, Morgan, yes. And then these three. Hopefully Trish won't get sticky fingers and like steal stuff from our house. Oh, look how cute you look. Penelope getting all dressed up. Look at you guys getting all dressed up. Freaking love it. Ooh, she's upset. Okay, so main goal is to look at her inviting over her friend. She's so adorable. Oh, look at you guys, our childhood friends from the beginning of the freaking game. Let's talk about school. They've all aged up. They're all seniors. And you know what, Charlotte? You need to cheer up this one because try to calm her down. Um, oh, no, not romance. <laughs> no, don't tell her a journey joke. Tell her a funny story. Like, cheer her up. Let's get back over here to the birthday girl. We need to eat food. So, oh, man. Don't you dare slam our door like that. Um, can we bring anything out of the fridge? Open. <laughs> There's seven left. Good. We're going to serve a salad. Call everyone to a meal. That'll work. <laughs> I feel like poor Abby deserves something better than everyone eating a salad, but that's okay. Um, have Sims become playful at the same time. So let's go ahead and... Funny. Joke about monkeys. Oh, wait, we're not the... Oh, no, it's doing it. Okay. I wonder why Charlotte would joke about monkeys. Um, tell them a knock-knock joke. I don't think we're going to get a high score in this one because this is mostly just for Abby. So, joke about politicians. I don't know how many jokes we have to tell to, like, get people to be in a playful mood, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, my mouse keeps freezing. Mouse. Tell her a funny story. What is Abby up to? Little birthday girl is just playing with her toys. Oh my gosh, Abby, come talk to your friends. Um, give him a heartfelt compliment. Uh, we don't want to annoy him. Oh my gosh, other Sims. Uh, mischief. Why is there only bad things we can, I guess, monkey around with him? Come on, Trish, don't steal anything from us. Let's monkey around with her. Um, there's so many people here. Holy moly. <laughs> Did we invite any more of Abby's friends? Maybe we didn't. Um, let's, uh, talk about school, because they all go to the same school. Quote a cartoon character. Give her a heartfelt compliment. Oh, that's right. She's one of our friends, too. So we want to take a picture together. We want to come over here and talk to our uncle. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Okay, they're eating food. Make a toast. Yeah, that's not going to work. Everyone's eating salad. You know what? Let's go ahead and bring the cake out of... Did I put the cake in the fridge? Shoot. Oh, it's over there. It's on the counter. Okay. Um, Can we... Can she reach that? Got to make sure we're clicked on the right person. I don't want to age up the wrong person. So we're going to have little Abby come over here and blow out the candles. Triple check that I am clicked on Abby. Oh, she's going to blow up the candles right next to her childhood toys. That's awesome. Okay, Abby. Stop talking to people. Come on. Come over here. <gasps> this is it. Oh, my gosh. Yay, baby girl. <laughs> Abby aged up. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think this far. <laughs> you know what, what we're gonna do is we're going to pick random ones and I'm gonna change them later. Cause I didn't even think about this. Oh, I didn't think about this at all. Um, um, <laughs> um, you know what? Let's pick mischief. I'm going to change all of this later. And goofball, I guess. Yeah, we're going to change it all later. Because <laughs> I have some secret plans for Abby. But look at she aged up kind of tomboyish. I love it. I have a whole no new look for her. Look at that little grimace on her face. 
freaking love it. So go ahead and look at her. <laughs> you better not be in a sour mood, little miss. It's your birthday. All right, so now we're the same age of these boys. Ooh, actually, maybe not all of them. He's a teen. Okay, so we need to... Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Let's goof around with... Maybe I'll keep the goofy one. I don't know. What traits do you guys think that she would have? Can we, like, call everyone to the burger birthday cake? What kind of traits do you think little Miss Abby would have? What do you guys think her aspiration would be? Come over here and hug your little, your little, your big sister. Yeah, we're not even doing any of the goals. <laughs> we're gonna eat some cake here pretty soon. There's so many, I'm not used to there being, oh my gosh, don't eat that, that's rotten. Oh, oh my God, What what is on the counter? Is this what's rotten? I can't, yeah, that's what's rotten. Okay, we're gonna toss that. We're gonna toss this. Gotta stay on these dishes. Oh no! We need to replace that. Poor, is that little Mason over there? He does not like being in dirty surroundings. So that's kind of good that he is helping to clean up everything. It's funny, I was talking to Mason's creator earlier today and he's like, Mason doesn't like to be in dirty surroundings. I'm like, you're so right. Cause he cleans in our game all the freaking time. Is that food on the ground? No, we've summoned shoes. Um, have an adult make a toast. Hmm. Open, I guess. So if we put a glass of mix, I think I'm going to do this completely wrong. Okay. So, okay. Stop doing all of this. I think it's is going to be totally wrong. Um, drink it maybe. And then... <laughs> Mason's like, I can't handle all these people here. Which one did I ask? Okay, I asked her to drink that one. Okay, drink this one. Oh, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. And then maybe while she's holding that and he's holding this. Pause it. Um, <laughs> can we like, um, yeah, I don't know how to do this. Crap. How do you like have people do a toast? I fail at this one every freaking time. Okay, they're both drinking a drink. Maybe I click on her? Go jogging, no. Hmm. Maybe it's in like the friendly interactions? No. No. Where is just do a toast? Actions? Form group? with your husband. I feel like this is all completely wrong. Um, and then toast. And then toast. <laughs> okay, leave group. Remove from group. I have no idea how to do that, you guys. So we're just not going to do that. Play a game with a birthday. So our toilet's broken. Everything's breaking. Play a game. We don't have anything we can play games with. So I guess we're not going to do that. We need one more sim to eat a cake. She's eating cake. Oh, where's the cake? Oh no, the cake is gone. Everybody ate it. Oh, this is a birthday fail. Oh, Mason, gosh, you're such a sweetie. Thank you for doing all of the freaking dishes. So I guess since we can't even complete any of that stuff, we're gonna end this party early. It doesn't even matter. I, whatever. And look at all of these dishes everywhere. So let's have this little miss clean up all of these dishes, be a really good big sister and help out. Abby, come over here and talk to your friends. Give her a heartfelt compliment. Mm, let's get to know him. Let's, Trish, you better not be stealing stuff from our house. <laughs> compliment her outfit. We're missing, oh, there he is. Okay, I'm like, we're missing someone. No, don't leave. Oh, he's gonna leave. Okay, fine. We'll just sit here and talk to these two. <laughs> uh, share some photos. Goof around. I don't know, what traits do you guys think little Abby would have? Aw, thank you so much for like doing all the chores. Goof around with him. She's like super uncomfortable. Well, go potty. Come over here. I fixed it. 
This is hard to have so many sims to take care of and do a birthday party. Charlotte's exhausted. She's like, I'm done. I'm asleep. <laughs> don't bother me. Um, oh, we didn't even talk to, what was that, Morgan? We hardly ever talked to her. Brighten her day. And let's, uh, <laughs> look how Mason, like, keeps an eye on Trish. He's like, I don't trust you in my house. You better not have stolen anything. Okay, he's going to leave too. So let's go ahead, have a seat. Um, let's do an impression. Now it's just us with our dad, you guys. Look how this turned out. She has to go potty too. Joke about old times. Brighten his day. He's like, you're a teenager now. Inside joke. Express admiration. Oh, I freaking love it, you guys. Our day started out with these two fishing and being together, being, you know, just family. And here we are, the end of our day. And it just wraps up with the both of them hanging out. I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to end this part here, you guys. If you like this episode or this Let's Play, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions. And what do you think her traits and her aspiration in life should be? Please leave those suggestions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.